looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day, boys. You cut your burgers? I decided to this time because I could tell with the brioche bun it was going to get sloppy. So I kind of wanted to get into the center of it, see what's, see what's going on at the heart of the matter. Okay, okay. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Just burn the roof of my mouth. The burger, the burger was solid. I don't know if I needed that that girthiness in my life, but I just thought the nachos were cruff. It is what it is. It, it was it was sustenance. We got it done. We needed to eat. We were hangry. And uh, you know, now we're, we're we're pushing forward. We're making progress towards Charleston. So we're on to uh, we're on to the Muni. We're on to the money round. Neil's either gonna be a zero or a one course handicap. God, I'm playing so much worse than that. We're so we're so boned. I don't see I don't see how we we're not boned right now. Well, we gotta make some birdies and eagles. Oh yeah, I make a ton of eagles. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, like, I, think I, I made, made one in the last ten years. No, you made that one in Michigan. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. We're gonna have to find it, man. Things seem really bleak. We have two full days left already. Yeah, this is this isn't an act. I'm worried about my guy. No, I know. It's I'm giving off bad vibes. I think I don't know. Do you want him to psychoanalyze me, or you just want to hear it from the source? It's got a lot going on in my life right now. I feel like I'm kind of you know I'm not stressed about like getting married, but like all this wedding bullshit. It's not like a lot of details like e -e 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 -e. above the shoulders mustard shit. I'm doing a lot. I'm pulling pulling myself in a lot of different directions. All self inflicted. I'm kind of just like I'm a little down on myself right now. What I'm really pissed about is that, you know, I'm a one point handicap and I'm gonna be playing off a zero tomorrow. Like, I don't fucking feel like a zero right now. So now we have no upside. We have no fucking chance not to lose money. I think, you know, it's like, God, I just gotta fucking nut up and battle though. Like, come on, man. Do you wanna, uh, do you wanna cancel the wedding? We could do that. No, I don't. I'm, I'm thrilled to get married, for real. I don't know why I'm all revved up. You're but redlining. I, a little bit. Yeah, you're all hot I think and I'm tired. Yes, the party is winding down because the budget doesn't look great. Like, golf's not super cheap in this part of the country. You know, the golf today, it was $57. Like, should it be that expensive? Probably not, but like, that's what we have to pay. We gotta play Charleston Muni, which actually I think will be fine. But we gotta find two nights lodging. It just all gets back to like, you, like it kind of feels like we have like thirty dollars left, and we have like all day tomorrow meals. Uh, we can't lose money. We just can't get ahead in this economy. You see, this one looks like it's too good to be true. It says it sleeps twelve guests. It's got four bedrooms and eight beds. And maybe I'm underselling the wedding stuff a little bit. You know, like it is a big step. Do I have to relinquish the kid, the kid title? Yeah, I think I do. Like, probably come to terms with that subconsciously. Why don't you get some rest, big dog? I will. <laughs> I'm powering down back there. You've done plenty. <laughs> let's let's hit the road. Let's go get checked in. Let's 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 do it. He left like four dollars worth of food on his plate. That doesn't help. You need a box for this?
That's the duplex. Fucking Hollywood Nate Driver. Is it? Yeah. I don't even believe that fucking body is Down here? I think that's us straight ahead. This is our sprawling ranch. Yeah. This is very unique. You know. Should we pop in? What's up, boys? I got next. How old do you feel right now? Super old. <laughs> Anything down there? Yeah, it was the wrong one. Are we in the right place? Oh shit, it worked. Well, watch your step. That's a broken neck right there. Welcome. Well, this is like uncomfortably big. Jesus. That's another big room. This is kind of spooky. Yeah, I know, dude. Maybe there's some cold beers in the fridge. Oh, no, there's not. <laughs> oh, there's another room? <laughs> is there? Whoa. Fuck you, man. This room's a little bit more comfortable than that one, I think. I think this one. Listen, I don't, I don't want to put anything in your head. No, uh, what? No, nah, never mind. What? I don't know. Oh, God, if I was laying in this bed, I'd be looking at that glass. I'd be looking at that glass door all night. Well, that we know it's locked, because I couldn't get it. Until someone punches through. I feel like we're going to discover something if we keep looking around that. Maybe we don't want to discover. Well, I kind of thought, I took that from him because I was like, I'm going to have to have to stop him without a care. You see yourself as first line of defense? I don't really want to. I think we're going to you two, Jamil. We have to protect you. I mean, I don't know. If something happens, I can't get to you. You're all the way down there. This is almost better because if somebody smashes through here, at least you got a fighting chance. They can smash through that door, and I wouldn't even know it until they like creep if I, up around. If I eat their to deed first up. Those guys don't know we're not like strapped up, right? No, they don't know that at all. We're just getting our bearings. And we're it's like a dead end street. We're a little jebular. It's a lot of stuff. And the big truck got pulled in right when we did. Yeah, that was a weird vibe. And, and the fact that like Airbnb stuff's getting to the point where you just like hit reserve. Don't have to talk to anybody. You just, it's like, here, here's all the info. And it's like, okay, well, like, just like, Putting your blind trust in an application is like, whoa, that's weird. Yeah. Just kind of like, the big man's gonna be more comfortable in that room. There's a solid setup over here, more strength in numbers on this side. We're gonna overload this side. Yeah, there's just no reason to spread out the house. I mean, it's too much space. That's what we've already talked about. Like, this is all we needed. Like, this is, it's kind of the strap of wing over here. This way we can get to each other's backs right away, should we need to. We're gonna get, we're gonna get better tomorrow though. We're gonna be better. We'll be fine. You know? It just, we were talking, like it felt like, it felt like a big disappointment today, but then it was like, wait a second. Day one of Strapped is never about like chasing something, you know? I know. It's, it's usually like, just about feeling good, vibing. The money ball getting getting warmed up. made us feel like disappointments and probably exacerbated what we're feeling. So we just gotta get back to, uh, back to our roots a little bit. I will say this. I feel like the bachelor party has not started though yet. <laughs> Rock on, brother. I don't know if it will start, but it has not started. It's money round. Let's go, baby. One more time for old times. Nostalgia reigns, baby. This is going to be the last money around of your life as a single man. That's right. It's time to fucking nut up or get out. I'm just checking to see if we need to strip the beds. <laughs> we're going to go give him hell. That's right. We're going to give him hell. That's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, I'm just a little nervous to see what the Charleston Union is all about. I've heard it's like kooky. This is psychological warfare from TC. Yeah. That's all it is. Well, TC was up here a couple weeks ago. Um, did a little party boys trip. <laughs> Shout out to Harry the Lurker. Shout out, to, shout out to Luke, fluff, fluff, who plays the game the right way, yeah. And he was just kind of raving about it, how, oh my God, I can't wait for the money rounds, the psychological evaluation and this and that. I was like, damn, man, like, it's not really what the money round's about. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, Troy Miller, golf course architect with Miller Golf Design. We're at Charleston Municipal Golf Course in Charleston, South Carolina. If you are going to describe this place to someone who's never been here, how would you do that? Ah, uh, nostalgic. I grew up here in Charleston, born and raised on this island. Um, I, my father's first job in golf was here at Charleston Municipal over 50 years ago. Um, my grandfather caddied on this golf course in the 30s. I grew up playing this golf course. My mom used to drop me off here with a $5 bill and pick me up at, dawn, at dusk and I was on my own for the day playing this golf course and it was a great way to grow up. As an architect, as I started to get into architecture, you always kind of think back on that golf course you grew up on. Wouldn't it be cool if? And so the thoughts behind this place have been rattling around in my head. It was your typical Muni. This place has been here since 1929, has always had great bones, has always felt like a great municipal golf course and that classic style of architecture, but had a lot of dust on it. When Country Club and Yeamans Hall were built in the mid-20s, the, those were the only examples of golf when this place was built. So it was like a bad game of telephone. There was a lot of things out here that had inklings of looking like Rainer McDonald style of architecture, but had never been pushed to that degree. They really hadn't updated the style of how you maintain a golf course since the 50s. Uh, pole gang mowing fairways and um, mowing greens at three quarters of an inch at times and all of the features had melted away. Anything that they had done over time was basically gone. The greens were basically satellite dishes. They had atrophied down to next to nothing. You would have found uh, a very roughly maintained golf course that you'd have gone, oh, wow, this place could be really cool. Today, what you find is a golf course that's got 12 template holes, uh, a lot of those classic Rainer McDonald features, um, square edges on all but one green, the punch bowl being the exception. You know, if you think about Yeamans as like this big gray wolf, this is kind of its scraggly coyote cousin. What's a good score for uh, two handicap? I'd say a, a two out here, if you, can, if you can shoot 75, the front nine is definitely a shot to two shots harder than the back. I took that personal. I didn't hear it, but I took it. Apparently they said there's no shot in hell that I can break par out here. That's bulletin board shit for me right now. All right, let's go get it. Good morning, Hansel. Said he's got 67 in him today. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Just for the record, I did not say that. <laughs> You're a bad guy. What's a, what's a good round for a two handicap? Two handicap, probably a good round, 78. Okay. 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 If you get tired of taking these guys' video, you can come back and do ours. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, for sure. What, what should we know about the golf course? The greens are absolutely crazy. Yeah. Um, they're... There are places on the green that if you get, you're you're gonna three putt for sure. Okay. Cool. You don't three putt though. No, rarely. <laughs> or four putt. Okay. <laughs> I do do that though. Let's get off to a gallivanting start, huh? Hell yeah. Love that, buddy. The, the biggest thing, I think the first hole is gonna hit you in the face. You know, it's a what I call a, a warm handshake off the tee. It's one of the widest tee shots on the golf course. And then it's the double plateau green. And so I always tell people, if you quit, we want you to quit early. Just trying to get it up on that table. It, it shows you that this isn't the same old Muni you used to play when you get to the first green. It's a pretty bold double plateau green. Um, and so the greens and the green complexes generally are what make this place settle. See ya. I don't know. That's not good. Keish is back. She's back. Did you find it? No. Damn, it didn't move. I thought that was a good putt though. Bad read, good putt. 
Huh, well, that was unforced. And I'll tell you, and this, people scream nepotism forever after this. My brother-in-law won the city yam last year, and the first one <laughs> after, after the uh, tournament. I, I grabbed him by the shoulders on Friday afternoon, and he was going out. I'd already played in the morning, and I said, keep the ball in front of you. He never pulled a head cover off for three days. I mean, 6,500 yards, you don't need to. And he just kept it in front of him, and he kept double bogey out of the equation. It was six over for three days. Typically, 10 to 12 under would win, so it was about an 18-stroke swing. Come on, man. Let's take this bitch down. Is that good? There's water over there. Did that fly the water up there? That's it. Oh, that's in. I don't think I've ever early called myself. That was tough. That's not gonna look great in the film room. Yeah! Seven? Uh, eight, probably. One in one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This weather fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't have rain gloves with me either. Fuck me, dude. I'm such a moron. Well, this was not in the forecast. I mean, this, this is, this sucks. Yeah, let's hit these and then maybe we'll take cover over there. Can't hit any better, big. Just, I couldn't really see it. It's on the mind over there. We're kicking ourselves. We're unprepared. Didn't see it in the forecast for like the last three days, and then it's just like monsoon niche out here. I think it's supposed to rain till about noon, so that's good. All right, what's the update? Well, we just got word from the competition committee that they've they've red flagged the round. It's total total restart. Two holes in, they said let's we're gonna we got some times this afternoon. We're gonna we're gonna restart you boys. Yeah. So so we're gonna wipe it. We're gonna go in and try to dry off. I think St. Raphael's looking out for us. Yeah, because this is, this is miserable. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see this. Come on, you want to see a run at it today. Not this, not, not this, this is bad. All right, let's walk it in. Calk? Is that a word? Yeah, like caulking. Could be a CY. You were trying to throw me off. No, I was just playing it straight. Calk a word? You already I did was the word. It straight. You're supposed to be looking out for me. That's what everybody says. What's your group called? A little rascal. <laughs> well, everybody, Wednesday and Friday, we do off at 8 o'clock. There's, uh, we have 17 times locked in. The reaction from the locals has been widely positive. Uh, the biggest compliment that I've gotten is that these guys have told me, we really have to think our way around this place now. And to me, that is the highest compliment that you can give to a golf course. I shot better down there at the ocean course than I did here. I shot 77 degrees at the ocean course. I shot 77 here if I laughed at Pentadoc Street. 
when I was under construction, there was a lot of questions. A lot of people, particularly like the Alps bunker on nine, the cross bunker that's six feet tall, short of the green, you know, 40 yards short of the green. A lot of the older crowd is going, you've built something that we can't play. I watch these old guys and from where they're playing from, it actually gets them to the green because now they're using the backside of that bunker to kick it out onto the green, whereas before it would just hit splat and they'd be 30 or 40 yards short. And they learned to play this golf course a lot faster than a lot of the good players did. They had to figure out, okay, I need to position myself here. I wanna run it up on this green. I can use these contours. And there's a lot more birdies and double bogeys out here. This place is cleared out. Like the strap was, there's one thing we are, it's patient. <laughs> oh, it's about 12.20. We've been in here two and a half hours. $8 for a burger and tots. Prices at the Muni are right. Fantastic. Sounds like the, the little rascals gave up. Buckwheat and the boys went home. The course is gonna be super gettable. We're, we're sharpening the saw right now. <laughs> Looks like the weather's clearing. It's 1.30 p.m. so we're, what? Four and a half hours? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody outlasts the strap boys. No. Let that be a lesson to all of you. I'm glad that the tournament committee said we could get a restart. That's that's huge. That was the rub of the green for us. I was hitting the ball great. Started bogey double. Which is really cool. <laughs> well the guys psyched us all out even before we walked outside, like, oh my god, you know, I used to shoot sixty four and now I can't break eighty, so I'm thinking like okay, well I'm gonna go shoot ninety five and then it just starts pouring on me. I don't have any rain gear. Yeah. Like literally did not want to be around anymore. We know the line. We know what to do on this hole, Randy. We, yes, we do. And we also know what to, not to do on the second tee. That's right. After that, it's, and then after that, it's Vaya it's... con Diaz. Yeah, that works. Sure. Yeah, sure. God, another good one. Another one. Yeah, this new driver might be. You got to watch Randy, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. What a ridiculous green. Everybody keeps treating this place like, it's, they're talking about like it's Mike Tyson. Dude, you, you can't believe it, man. It's like, he can't be stopped. Well, fuck that, man. I still, I think my favorite hole, the first hole was provocative. That, yeah. that first green was really cool. Go, 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 go! Again, playing the ball on the ground, using the contours, looking away from the pins, um, which I should mention the other thing you should be aware of is that they're only four and a half feet tall. So don't, don't let that mess you up on the first hole. That's excellent, big, excellent. Good three putt. It was another one of those touches that we changed during the renovation to give a little nod to history. A lot of the old pins in the British Isles were always short. And it was also a way from a perception perspective to create the feel and appearance of our features being bigger than they were. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, we won't be fooled we twice. We will not be fooled again, Randy. Not again. I have a lot of thoughts on the golf course. I. It's very stimulating. So I might try to outthink this course. Floor iron on a par five. I might have to kind of pitch backwards today. A lot of off speed stuff early in the count and then try to put them away with fastballs instead of vice versa. Go. Eight for me. Seven. I kind of played the hole pretty well. Ooh, ooh. I, I, I said, I think I said it to you on three or four, I feel like I'm in a museum and the court, course was built, what, last year or redone last year. So like, I think that's a massive compliment. All right, come on, let's get back in it. 
I could come out here. I wouldn't get bored playing here every day. No, you wouldn't get bored. There's so many. And I think they put the pins in like very provocative spots. Yeah. Like I don't think they're bashful about putting the pin in like borderline not pinnable spots. Come on, come on, one no. time. Oh. Good putt. That was. That's a, that's a good putt. That's not a good putt. Point. A couple different ways to make it four. You saw it? Yeah. Okay. Kind of spit back to the right. Like, my, my, is my putter stroke just fucking busted? You know? Like, no, I don't is... think it is. I think you just, you, you know, the whole process is just rushed. Okay, okay. Uh, All right, I'm gonna dead it into the hill here. What could go wrong? Oh, I could miss the hill, that could go wrong. I'm surprised that happened. Five over through five. Right where we want them. Oh no, I'm sorry, excuse me, six over on six. I had a triple. Cut. I think the punch bowl, some people have called it a teacup because it is on the smaller end for a punch bowl. Position off the tee matters tremendously there. You got to be down the left hand side to have a chance. I would say the punch bowl, if I'm, if I'm going to be brutally honest, it looks like anytime I've tried to do a, um, what do you call the, the clay pot or the wheel? When you, when you mold a pot, you're like, oh, dude, I'm going to do this awesome mug. I'm going to do this awesome mug. And then it just like, and then the instructor's like, hey, Got to put it in the kiln, you come back and get it in a week. It's like, you know what, man? You can keep it. Uh, yeah, but weren't you weren't going to give You wanted to give it to your mom for Mother's Day, and now it's like... like I just don't no. think that's going to... She, she's not going to use it. We're just getting started, big. Not yet, but soon. Hybrid, 235. That's so good. That's impossibly good. Most of Rainer McDonald's golf courses are private. So for the public to be able to have an opportunity to see this style of architecture, which is so unique, um, is I think really special. Yes, sir. Cheeky. All right, go to your routine. Here we go. Oh my God. Great birdie. Oh. Not yet. But he's close. We, uh, we're making the turn. Neil, I mean, he was what, six over through five and finished five over on the whole back nine. Shot a 41, got 15 front points, front nine. 15 points out of 35. I've got 136 to clear this bunker and 165 to the flag. That is a, that is a trick, Randy. I'm one over par, 46 for me. So we have 24 points. We're on pace for 48, which is down $24 right now. How is it raining? I feel like Kristoff's up there. Would I rather play these types of greens or just like flat, you know, boring circle greens? I'd rather play this. But saying that, I can also understand why some people who probably play this course 60 times a year probably hate what, what they've done. Like I understand that too, because it is difficult. I'm enjoying it though. I'm enjoying the course. So. Let's keep moving. Yeah, let's keep going. I didn't see it. That's perfect. Straight. Randy, I got a question for you. What is your least favorite bumper sticker in the entire world? It's a good question, Neil. Um, oh, guy got me. <laughs> he got me. You got me? Oh my God, you got a great bounce. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, brother. They came to oh, see yeah. the kid. Oh, yeah. They came to see the kid play, Randy. That's awesome. Oh my God, what a break. I mean, 12 feet for Eagle. 
Yeah, let's go. Woo! Let's go. Big move. He's back. Oh! We lie in wait for the moment, Randy. Come on. The corner of the golf course, 11, 12, 13, and 14, is when you leave kind of the Parkland setting of the rest of the golf course and you go out to the Stono River and it feels more linksy. And the template holes that everybody knows are what you're playing. You're going from the Redan to the Cape, to the road, to the short. The Redan, which is right by the highway, so people are seeing it on their way to Kiowa, and it's got a very bold kick slope off the right-hand side. It has had over two dozen hole-in-ones in a little over a year of play. And it's not like it's a funnel. Down. Still see it. I think that's really good. It's gotta be. Cause that pin's it's 150, so that's gotta be really good. Good shot. I always use the analogy of if you drop a pin on a piece of paper, it makes a dot. If you drag that pin across the paper, it makes a line. The ball is moving around on the ground because the contours are so bold on these greens that it's bound to find a hole. Good birdie, big. Thank you. Really nice. Thank you. Oh my God, talk about living right. Woo! Wow. Go in, go in. Yo, that took a real good long look. Great birdie. Being born and raised Charlestonian, this project always meant something special to me. And immediately I jumped up and said, I'll do whatever I can to help you. I'm here and I don't want anything for it. I just want to see this place do well. I've gotten this question a lot from people trying to do this in their own munis around the country. And it really was about not just selling the idea of making the place great, but also being able to show how it was financially viable and how it was a great investment for the city. And they would have a return on their investment, which they have, um, far exceeding what I ever thought was possible. Like, I think this is the coolest views of any Muni I've ever played, but yeah. like top five easy, right? All right, 14, the sweet ladies before the round told us they have a special nickname for this hole. They were very embarrassed to tell us. They called it the VJJ. Their words, not mine. 124 to the stick, Randy. Neil, I don't want this to spoil your wedding night. Old Randy knows his way around these parts. Oh yeah, he does. Oh, hold on. Ball right. Sit. Look at the big man. Big old Randy. Deep part of the green. <laughs> I'm, I'm extremely uncomfortable. What a putt. Let's go, he found his way eventually. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just like that. That's a birdie. As an architect, all you see is the warts. There's little things we want to do from a drainage perspective. But more importantly, I think the impact on the community. We added as part of this renovation a three-hole short course. We've been able to take and go from 250 kids in our junior programs to 1,000 kids overnight. Um, we're starting a caddy program out here through the Evans Scholars this year. So there's a lot to do. And I think it, I'd love to see this place become the model for how to enhance the community through municipal golf. Not just a great golf course that's really cool that people want to come play, but also for the community to have a place that they can call their own and be a great community center. Good ball there. Linked up with some dudes behind us, so we're going to play a five ball here the last couple holes. True Muni style.
One time, one time, one time. Oh, good putt. Fuck. The longest day. We've done it. <laughs> we rocked him. We rocked him. Neil. Yo. 35 on the back, one under. 76. Oh, God. 76 with two triples? Yeah. You know, TKO for, for the Muni. But damn if people don't want to see a rematch. It's Hearns Hagler out here with, with the kid. <laughs> Tough finish. I shot 91. Ah! One over. I know. I had 21 quota points and I needed 26. And Neil had 41 quota points and he needed 35. So, so we needed 61 and we got 62. We hit it? We won $2. Oh my God. How about that? That is fucking hustle. That's, that's all it is. That was grit. God. Dug it out of the dirt today. So it is hard. It is hard. The, just, the greens are just not receptive. I, I think, honestly, once they mature and soften a little bit, I'm way in on the greens. I just like, can't lose focus. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. Let's get to the car. We've been here literally all day. I think, I think that's a 7.30 to 6.30, punching out. Working those investment banker hours, Randy. It's not much, but it's honest. It sure was. I hit fucking cups today, too. Look at that light over there. Let the people know I hit cups. Yeah, let them know that that's legit scores. Tell them, tell them what you saw here, Randy. I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell everybody I ever meet. Yes, Neil hit cups. Shot 76 at the Charleston Muni. 76 with two trips. Sheesh. Finally figured out the putting though. We need to bottle that shit up.